I am Netmover Sidan. And it's that time again! We are at the Research Tower. And considering that there is obsidian, I'm recreating enough of the obsidian towers in the end for the purpose in mind. Which in this case is practice for the maneuver that I'll be performing. End crystals, or whatever they're called. Obviously, I can't recreate everything because, well, do you know how long it would take to gather that much obsidian? Imagine that I use cobblestone to rise up to where it is, and I've gone a bit too far. Oh wait, almost forgot. I need to build the cage. It's not authentic without the iron bars around. Oh yes, and until the last story-based DLC is out, Hollow Knight is officially on hold, although I haven't uploaded all of it yet. Still waiting for Shuffle Knight King of Cards. Yes. The story involving the flamboyant King Knights. Set before Spectre of Torments. Involving Spectre Knights, that undead ninja. As for Super Hot's Mind Control Delete, that's still in development. A standalone roguelite. Or like, well, whichever of those two. Expansion to Super Hot. Can't wait to see what that does. Meanwhile, I've been doing a couple of uh, additional projects. One is Cradle. Now that one was interesting. And the other, which at this point isn't uploaded yet, but it will be. Oh yes, and time to test it out.
Right, let's see if this works. And the answer is... No, it hasn't. <sighs> yeah. I'm guessing I'm going to need to make a hole in the bars before... I set it off. Well, thankfully I have a few spares. Oh yes, and as I was saying... I've been starting... Soul Blight. A top-down action RPG. Where it takes role-playing to a... altogether different concept. I've gone for a few taints so far, and it's already at episode 4. Right, let's see if this works this time. And the answer is... It does! Well, that's not all that I'm doing. In this session of Minecraft Weekly World of Towers, I have magma blocks and never brick blocks to place on the upper level. That and I need to empty out. Yeah, made a mistake there. Thought it wouldn't travel far enough. Although it was snowing at the time. Now it does. Yeah, well, I've been learning how everything works, where doing or rather not doing certain things makes you weaker. Oh yes, and that one will be fully voice acted. And I'll adjust the character to suit whatever taints are gathered. Wouldn't want to just be some generic character, wouldn't I? Well, starts off like that, but that changes over time. It's apparently challenging and painfully difficult. Well... <laughs> yeah, I'm expanding the height of the tower. In case I have more research that I need to do. Well, 
I needed to test that out in safer conditions. But I'm not constantly under pressure from the Ender Dragon. Oh yeah, and I'm trying to get a pair of enchanted diamond boots that reduces all damage. That is the first failure. Oh yes. Now I remember where, or rather why I brought those along. There's expansion of the underground rail network to take care of. I also need to gather reagents for making potions. I need a vast stockpile of them. As for pumpkin heads, I have enough of those. Oh, yes. I have those reagents to use at some point. Just not right now. I want to focus the remaining time on... Yeah, it grows slowly, doesn't it? Yeah, and there's some pumpkins there for me to gather at some point. Mm, I think I have enough right now. Although, food-wise, I could use some more bread. to run out of food. best to have an additional block of space for growing blocks. Because otherwise it can't grow past seedling. In fact, I'm not sure why I didn't increase the space between the crops and the lighting. Hmm. I have quite a few things that are on hold. Well, three of them anyway. the meats. 
then all I need to do is find a workbench to turn this into bread. Of course, in reality, it isn't that simple. But then again, this isn't reality. That's like Michael Bay movies suck. Which explains why he's being involved in a movie that is an adaptation of a 1990s video game tough guy. Oh yes, and as for the concept of the will of the people, which people? Those that regularly abuse their power when they're sure they can get away with it. Those that couldn't care less about the people. Or perhaps those people who have nothing better to do than cause trouble. Those who don't complain for any particular reason, I just complain. Where they can be agents of chaos at most. Or rather, worst. They're also the kind who replace one lie. Something equally as bad or worse. In fact, it's one reason why I don't trust nationalists or any form of extreme government in general because nothing good has ever come of them. <laughs> Governments that demand complete obedience to laws. Oh yes, and I almost forgot to make more tracks. Of the regular kind. I need more of those. Let's see how much I can make. Ooh, quite a bit. And I had a hint. My supply of sticks. <laughs> now to turn them back into iron blocks. And I'd best take some redstone. I want to make torches to power the powered rail. Yeah, that should be more than enough. I'll take the long way. Because I don't remember where the network ended last. Oh yes, and as for... totalitarian states...
it's irritating, isn't it, when they come up with some long-winded term something. Here's a completely made-up example, but it uh, gives a basic idea. The Ministry of Honesty, Cooperation and General Efficiency. Might as well call this the Ministry of Compliance and be done with it. And besides, it's a contradiction in terms. Because rather than honesty, it's forcing deceit. Deceit that everything is fine and is not a complete prison in the form of the nation. Cooperation. Well, that part at least is true, although not for the reasons that they make it out to be. Coerced cooperation would be more accurate. Where if you don't do that, your life is going to be hell, is what is silently implied. Well, mostly silently implied. General efficiency, as in, you'd better do things our way, and to an acceptable standard, or we're going to make you pay. And when I mean we're going to make you pay, that might not be entirely financial. Yeah. Yeah, and some of these regimes are so lazy, they can't be bothered to use official personnel to monitor their own people. They get their people to monitor each other. When they can't be bothered to do it themselves. And we're talking about a society where its government doesn't feel safe unless its people can't empty their bowels without knowing about it. Yeah, without them knowing. Big Brother obviously has nothing better to do. Oh yes, and some of you might be thinking a society where everyone monitors each other is science fiction. One of the more prominent examples being George Orwell's 1984. Who is more well known for coming up with the term wrong thing?
and was the origin for alternative facts. Where revisions are made. Well, sorry to say this, but it's something that's quite real. It's not some imaginary construct. There's at least one country where it's actually happening. Where the Orwellian nightmare is actually real. Where people actually wake up to it. In fact, I have a cousin that's already there. I'm fearful for his life. Because all it can take for him to be taken away and locked up is a poor choice of words, spoken in the wrong place at the wrong time. I know that unemployment is a bit high where he lives, but Was he that desperate for work? Because I can't really see how heading somewhere where it has an oppressive government would solve that problem. If anything, it would just create new ones. basically the opinions of others can affect how you live your life. Where well, make one mistake and it will follow you the rest of your life. Eventually, life won't be worth living. Thus is the society where Everyone is considered, well, almost everyone, an enemy of the state in waiting. Until next time. Hail the rabbits! <laughs>